Get a hold of yourself! Stop crying and running away! Say, nice to see you again. Seems as though you like what we're doing here. Well, I uh, appreciate it. Thank you very much. I would also appreciate it if you liked and subscribed. Today, we're continuing on with the book Psycho Cybernetics, and we're continuing to share the mind of Zenitsu Agatsuma, his unconscious mind, that is. This here video, we're going to go into creating a self image for yourself. It's probably important that you get a good mentor. Also, it's really important part of Zenitsu's story is his self image. And in the book Psycho Cybernetics by the late Dr. Maltz, Max uh, Maltz, he goes over basically what he noticed in his lifetime of being a surgeon how the mind can either accept the self-image or it will not. And the self-image uh, is not only your appearance in the mirror, but the traits that you have in your mind and how you go about interacting with the world. In order to have any sort of success in life, you need to have a self-image first that you can agree with. Now, last episode, we went over Zenitsu having two different minds about himself it's why his character arc is a struggle in between failure and success the more that he tries the harder it gets for him to <laughs> the harder it, the more that he tries the harder it gets for him to obtaining his goals and it's funny that when he knocks out he's single-minded when he goes unconscious, he literally appears uh, as his unconscious mind. Funny enough, that's a interesting quirk of his. <laughs> Doing that isn't going to get you anywhere. Come down from there. You hear me, Zenitsu? We're going to continue training. You rescued me from my mountain of debt. Maybe all you wanted was to be able to train a swordsman. But I want to live up to your expectations, too! This would be a good selling point for any uh, person that's a tutor. You have all the need in the world for a tutor in order to raise yourself in life. To be successful, you have to have someone that's walked a path of success. You need to know what success looks like. And it seems that Zenitsu here has great revere for the Hashira uh, that has the thunder form breathing now that is pretty much uh why he that's not the only that's not the only reason that he appreciates the hashira as you can see he did something for him and he sacrificed he brought him into his home and uh gave him a place pretty much when he was forsaken by others i feel terrible about the fact that i'm like this i really do just so you know, I've been skipping out on sleep so that I can train more. But I have absolutely nothing to show for it. Why? Seriously, is there some reason I don't know about? Calm yourself, Zenitsu. <laughs> in this book, Maxwell Maltz uh, says that in order for the unconscious mind to get to where it's going, you have a couple of steps to fulfill. You need to know your path in life you need to know where you're going first then you need to calm yourself and you need to decide uh, in a conscious uh, manner that this is what you want to do this is what you're setting out to do there's a great deal of literature out there on catharsis and it's uh, talked about it's mentioned in this book here that I've just read for you uh, giving you the the cliff notes the thing about writing out and setting out to do something is it's made more clear in your mind and uh, by calming yourself and and also uh, writing out the things that you don't like or that you hate about yourself you can get rid of them and there's multiple uses for this and i know i went over uh, hypnosis with you in the last episode check back there if you haven't seen that first one you'll find some really important tidbits we went over uh self-hypnosis the body the mind is connected in a place that <laughs> funny enough is like a ship 
you have your rudder you have your propeller the unconscious being your propeller you need to point it in a direction it needs a direction to go or else it'll go in circles kind of like how Zenitsu does most of the time in his waking life when he turns unconscious though uh, when he turns to his unconscious and he literally goes unconscious he has that he has that rudder going in the right direction and it's pretty clear to everyone else that he means business but when he has no uh, direction that's silly enough what it looks like when you have an unconscious mind that doesn't have a place to go that's why i say it's good to have uh, an instructor the potential lies within you i've had enough of it all i was thankful just to be alive the doctor explains that one of the best ways to get going in a good direction is some indignance like Zenitsu showed here he's tired of being a wimp the lightning kind of is a symbol for uh, nature forcing him on this path that he needs to go down but also in himself he's changed and that has I guess I don't know what the symbolism is some divine spark that that god has given to him i think i think that's what it is he he has the uh, this electricity about him and that's why people like him not literally because the electricity but because he has some divinity in him that we can all kind of see whether or not it's conscious to us or not but even so i i hate myself more than anyone else I always try to get my act together, but I just end up running away or cowering in fear. I'm pathetic. He's hypnotized himself, and this is the second part of his mind that he has. He's given in to the, the thought that everyone's correct about him, uh, especially his rival Kai, Kaigatsu. Kaiga? Jesus, I don't remember his name, but his rival whom he has to face later on who put him down and shamed him and and gave him these thoughts that he is not worthy of the love of people now that's uh in conflict that's what's messing up zenitsu's rudder and it's plainly evident to see that there is the side of him and then there's the other side of him that completely believes and and gains from hard work and a, a successful work ethic. I want to change. I want to be a capable individual. The fact is, I'm doing absolutely everything that I can! Good. What's up with this guy? He's a strange one. He is unique. Let's get further into his mind. Let's get like these little spider guys and get closer to his unconscious mind. What do you say? Come here, Zenitsu. <laughs> <laughs> Can you leave me alone for just a little bit? No. <laughs> this is all too much for me to handle right now. Huh? Oh, he's stressed out. So I there he. I don't understand this guy at all. I don't understand, How bro. How spineless can you get? That's an attribute that is the first thing that I noticed about him. He's a little bit spineless, but he turns it around. He turns it around. We all know. Did he just twist his body in midair with such? Don't worry about it, Zenitsu. That's good enough progress. Mastering even one is cause for celebration. If you can only do one thing, that's beautiful. Hold it to perfection. That's really good advice. In in this book about self-image, it's good to know your successes, and most times it's easier to note the failures. That's why it takes effort and it takes your conscious mind to root out the things that have harmed you or or the harm that you've done to others because it it it's only gonna weigh you down and here we are uh with zenitsu uh he gets it from all sides he gets it from the good guys he gets it from the bad guys <laughs> he's pathetic and spineless but uh he needs to do without that right 
He needs to get rid of those impurities in his mind and forge on and ahead and believe in himself. Thank you, Gramps, for being there. I think that's, uh, I think that's, uh, this guy's the most important character for Zenitsu. Uh, the most important person in his life is one that believes in him. As long as you have one person that believes in you, you have a, a heck of a lot of hope in life. Thunder breathing has six forms, and all I can manage to do is one. Do you know what the process of forging a sword is? Same as the forging of your unconscious. I don't know. When making a sword, you hammer and hammer to get rid of impurities and anything else you don't need. The greater the purity of the blade, the more durable it becomes. Funny enough. Your unconscious mind is just like this Nietzschean sword here. It has its own personality. You need to think of yourself and your goals and your standards for success as a, a uniquely you thing. In, in comparing ourselves to others, it's easy to get some sort of inferiority complex because logical thought is a funny thing. It, you, it can run away from you. Now, if you see someone better than you, you have one of two options. You can you can believe that they're just really talented and really good, uh, or you can believe that and also that you are inferior because you can't jump like Michael Jordan. Um, and that's not true because you don't know that for a fact that you can't jump like Michael Jordan. The thing is, is it takes time and effort and strength and perseverance, not not willpower alone, but uh, a really good, healthy mental self-image of yourself is what's needed to overcome these inferiority, these thoughts of inferiority, and that's what Zenitsu is going to have to do. Is that why you keep clobbering me day in and day out? But I'm not made of steel. I'm living flesh. Zenitsu, perfect it. Get it. It's all right to cry or go off by yourself. This is true. I wish someone told me this when I was a kid. My upbringing, uh, it's very similar to Zenitsu's there. How far away I am from Zenitsu is not that far. And I see a lot of things in him that... Uh, I should be doing in my life and I am doing them and this dude has taught me maybe my favorite character is Gramps here he's a really kind guy very kind and he's hard on Zenitsu just don't ever give up but he's not unreasonable believe in yourself you endured all that hellish training you'll be rewarded for that without question Work to forge yourself like a tempered blade and become the most resilient of all. All right. What have you guys learned today? In this in this arc where we've just met Zenitsu, we see the we can see how all the complex things in his mind have weighed him down. The cool part is when he goes unconscious, and everybody knows that. Everybody loves to see him succeed. That's probably why uh, he's near and dear to me. That's probably why I want to speak so highly of him now. Whereas before, I used to think he was pathetic and spineless. Focus on what you do best! I'd like to thank you all for getting through this with me. As you can see, I have done a lot of studying. It's, uh, this is just like some of the notes I've got, but I have much more projects that are in the works for you guys. Probably, probably can't see that, but whatever. Uh, I want to forge on ahead and build my self image and I'm doing it every single day, just like Zenitsu. And I'm really proud of 
uh, myself for having taken up this project. I hope that we all learn something and that we can talk about it together because man oh man is the unconscious mind just like one of the most interesting subjects to me. Uh, not only am I going to go over anime characters but I'm going to go over uh, some other topics too about the unconscious mind because man uh, I just want to devour like the books whole sometimes like I want to bite them and, and, and <laughs> I'm not only into uh, you know uh, f fiction here uh, I'm not only into this stuff I'm into uh, nonfiction as well I think uh, a healthy diet of both is good for maintaining uh, self-image because where are we gonna get our inspiration from who are we gonna get our heroes Surely they can't call, uh, all come from un, uh, from nonfiction. But um, thanks again for hanging out. I really appreciate you. Give me a like. Give me a subscribe. Thanks, guys. I'm out.